Hundreds of guests attended the 2012 Indianapolis Prize Gala at the JW Marriott tonight. It's the equivalent of the Nobel Prize for Animal Conservation. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Russ Mittermeier. Dr. Carl Jones. Dr. Marcus Borna. Dr. Patricia Wright. Dr. Rodney Jackson. It's an enthusiastic, tremendous, you know, stupendous prize that brings people together from the developed world, it brings corporations, interested parties, and conservationists together. I just think that it's a great opportunity to showcase what some of these incredible scientists have been up to. If you can see that people are out there in the world that care for what you're doing, that feel passionate about what you feel passionate, I think it's fantastically motivating for me and for people that work with me in the field. It's the most prestigious prize that can be awarded conservationists because not only does it come with the prestige of the prize itself being awarded to a conservationist in the field and the finalists, but the winner receives $100,000, which is really an important thing for their work. We believed that the prize would become as important as it has because conservation is so important. All we really need to do is tell the story to people and they get excited and they get compelled and they, they get involved. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome the recipient of the 2012 Indianapolis Prize and the Lilly Medal, Dr. Stephen Amstrup. The Indianapolis Prize exemplifies the biggest challenges and accomplishments in our struggle to maintain wild things and wild places in the face of an ever-enlarging human footprint. To Eli Lilly and Company, Cummins Incorporated, the Heritage Group, the Indianapolis Zoo, and the nominating committee and jury, I express my sincerest gratitude.